The flexion distraction device has three component parts, the star base, the main gas spring component, and the control knob and mast. We've included an Allen wrench to assist you in assembling the device. First, insert the main gas spring component into the star base, lining up the bolts on the main gas spring's round collar with the two recesses in the ring of the star base. Use the Allen wrench to lock it into place. You'll attach the control knob and mast after the device is attached to the table. To attach the flexion distraction device to your tour portable table, first remove both mid-leg support pins and swing up the mid-leg support braces. Set the pins aside. Slide the black hinge locks off of the hinges and fold the back legs up into the table. The hinge locks must be all the way forward for the legs to fold properly. Roll the flexion distraction device under the back of the table. Set the back of the table onto the device, lining up the slots on the white housings with the tabs on the flexion distraction device. Use the mid-leg support pins to secure the table to the device. To install the control knob and mast, first make sure that the mast's position indicator button is in the white position. Insert it into the flexion distraction device and lock it into place by turning the mast locking lever clockwise until it is parallel to the floor. You can change the position of this lever to suit your needs. Simply pop it out away from the mechanism, adjust, and release. The tour portable table with flexion distraction is now ready to use. When the position indicator button is in the white position, the flexion distraction mechanism is locked into a fixed position, allowing a patient to safely sit on the table. To activate the flexion distraction device, turn the knob clockwise, press down, and turn clockwise again, moving the position indicator button to the red position. The back half of the table can now be flexed vertically by pushing down and releasing the control knob. If the device is left in the red position, the flexion distraction device is activated, so if a patient tries to sit on the table, it will flex, risking patient alarm or injury. When not in use, default to the white position. The table can also be locked into any flexed position. Press down on the control knob with the button in the red position and use your other hand to hold the table at the desired angle. Turn the control knob to return the position indicator button to the white position. The caudal drop can be operated no matter where the table is in the flexion arc. To return the table to its neutral position, turn the control knob so the button is in the red position and allow the gas spring to lift the table back to level. Be sure to return the button to the white position when not using the flexion distraction. When the flexion distraction device is not needed, the control knob and mask can be easily removed. Simply turn the mast locking lever counterclockwise until it is parallel to the floor, then remove the mast. The flexion distraction device is now locked and deactivated, and your tour portable table is ready for standard operation. Because your patient must be positioned lower on the table when using the flexion distraction device, his or her face will not be on the table's headpiece cushion. An accessory we recommend is the Thule Table's Comfort Pillow. Apply the Velcro strap to the underside of the pillow to secure it into a position that is comfortable for your patient. Paper towel is soft, absorbent, and inexpensive and can be used to protect the cushion and provide comfort to your patients. Your patient can then rest his or her arms alongside the pillow with hands on the original headpiece. To optimize the effect of the flexion distraction device, we've included Valio ankle weights to help you counterbalance the force of the flexion distraction's gas spring. You may want to place the weights below or above the mass depending on your patient's weight and your desired resistance. Here, Dr. Tooley has determined that one weight draped across the ankles and one draped across the back of the knees is the best combination for his preferences and his patient's size. The weights not only act as a counterbalance, but also help to hold the patient's legs in place, aiding in the distraction portion of flexion distraction. 
The mast's position indicator button is in the red position, allowing Dr. Tooley to flex the table. He achieves distraction with one hand on the patient's back, pushing gently away while flexing the back half of the table with his other hand. He may lock the table at any angle by turning the control knob to shift the button to the white position and may resume flexing the table by returning the button to the red position. The flexion distraction device is an innovative and versatile addition to any chiropractic practice. 